You're watching Fox Tech, and in this video, I'll show you how to stop your iPad from syncing with your iPhone if you're seeing the same messages, contacts, or even Safari tabs on both devices. It's likely because iCloud and other settings are set to keep everything connected by default. Let's walk through how to change that. Start by opening the settings app on your iPad. At the very top, tap your name to access your Apple ID settings. Scroll down to the list of devices linked to your account and tap on your iPhone. If you want to disconnect it entirely, you can tap remove from account, though this step is optional depending on how separate you want the devices to be. Next, go back to the main Apple ID screen and tap on iCloud. Here you'll see a list of apps that sync data between your iPhone and iPad. Turn off the toggles for anything you don't want synced. Things like messages, photos, contacts, and calendars. For messages specifically, tap into the messages section and choose not to use iCloud. This will stop messages from being mirrored across both devices. Now head to the FaceTime section in settings. Change the caller ID so that only your iPad's email address is used. This will keep FaceTime calls from being shared or answered on both devices. If Safari tab syncing is an issue, go to Settings, tap Safari, and turn off iCloud Sync. That way, your browsing activity stays private to each device. Finally, if you want to completely separate your iPad from your iPhone, you can sign out of your Apple ID on the iPad altogether. This removes most connections between the two, but also means you won't have access to shared uh, purchases or some iCloud features. Thanks for watching Fox Tech. If you found this helpful, give the video a like and subscribe for more iPad tips. See you later.